Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to today's class, right? Vizag Steel MT Paper One. So, anyways, the Vizag Steel MT has been postponed, right? So, I good news for everyone. Uh, the Vizag Steel MT has been postponed from 22nd, and the next date they will be announcing it, uh, you know, in a short span of time. But still, the classes has to go on, right? The classes has to go on. So, we had four classes, right? We had four classes on numerical ability, right? And then we had four classes on reasoning. Okay. Since the classes, right? Uh, since the Vizag Steel MT was first scheduled to be held on 22nd March, I kept two sessions, right? I kept two sessions of one hour each for the general English part, right? For the general English part. So I'll be continuing with the same, right? We will see when the Vizag Steel MT is going to be scheduled in the later date. Okay. If there are more number of time in the between, then I will get up more sessions, right? Then I'll get more sessions on English or else we'll move with the same, right? Or else we'll move with the same. So let's start with the general English part one session, right? For Vizag Steel MT. I know most of the students today will be uh, busy in their BARC exams, right? Most of them have their BARC exams today, right? So the practice questions on Vizag Steel MT, General English Part 1, right? General English Part 1, four parts on numerical ability, four parts on reasoning, right? There will be two parts on General English. But here, as you know, in the uh, reasoning part and numerical ability part, I was taking 10 questions in a day, right? So it was coming down to 40 questions. Here, I'll be taking 20 questions in a day. So again, the same 40 questions only will be seen in General English Part also, right? So shall we start the class? So we shall start the class. Let's move on to the first question. Okay. The first question is as follows. Right. Solve the question according to the given instruction. Right. Solve the question according to the given instruction. So the four options are given here. And you guys want to tell if there is any error in these options, right? This is a whole sentence actually. When Varun heard the news that his father had been hospitalized, he cancelled his trip and returned back to his village, right? This is the whole sentence. You guys have to tell if there is any error in this sentence. If any error is present, you guys have to mark which option it is in, right? Which option it is in. If there are no errors, then go for option D, right? So solve this question and give me the answer. Okay, so Shrikant is telling it as D, okay? So, it is actually C, Shrikant, okay? The correct option is C, okay? Back will not be used, right? Back will not be used with returned. Return is a verb, okay? It itself tells to come or to go back, right? Return is a verb. It itself tells, what does return mean? To come or to go back. I returned from my school. I came back from my school, right? What does return mean? I returned from my school. I came back from my school. So the return word itself has back with it, right? It itself has back with it. So why will you use back again, right? I returned back to the village. Wrong. I returned is itself going back. Okay. Returned is itself going back. So why will you use back again here, right? The usage of back is not required. So it is option C where the error is there. Okay. And returned to his village. Varun heard the news that his father had been hospitalized. 
he cancelled his trip and returned to his village, right? And came back to his village. Returned ka matlab hai coming back. Okay. The meaning of return is coming back, right? Chalo, let's move on to the next question. In a fit of temper, he tore up a sweet letter his wife had written to him. No error. So there are five options A, B, C, D, E. So you guys have to tell me in which of the parts there is an error. If there is no error, kindly give the option E. Okay, no one is able to find out the answer, right? In a fit of temper, he tore up a sweet letter, right? A sweet letter. What should come instead of a? It should come the, right? A sweet letter. So what did I tell you? Where do we use the for known things? For known things, the is used and a or an is used for unknown things right a or an is used for unknown things so his wife had returned to him right it is in the past his wife had already written this letter to him that means he knows about the letter right he knows about the letter he has seen the letter okay so he tore up the sweet letter right he tore up the sweet letter option b right option b is the answer see option b change a to the Letter is particularized, right? Letter is particularized. Matlab letter ke baare mein pata hai. You gave the girl the letter, right? You gave a girl the letter. So what does that mean? You know about the letter, right? What you have written, so you will know. Wo koi sa letter ho sakta hai, right? Any letter it can be. You know what is the contents in the letter, right? You know what is that letter made of. The girl doesn't know. The girl doesn't know, but you know, right? So here also, he knows what his wife had written for him. Had written matlab past. She had already written the letter. She had already given him. So he knows about the letter. So for known things, you use the. For unknown things, you use a or an. Right? A or an. Here the letter is particularized. So it is option B. Instead of A, it should be the letter. Right? Instead of A, it should be the letter. Let's move on to the next question. While the India government... Is commitment on bringing black black money from abroad. There are people in the country who are trying to send their ill-gotten money outside for fear of being caught by law enforcement agencies. While the Indian government is commitment on bringing back black money from abroad, option A. Option B. While the Indian government is committed to bringing back black money from foreign, despite the Indian government is committed to bringing back black money from abroad. As the India government is committed to bringing black black money from abroad, right? So four options are there. Here I have underlined the whole sentence. So instead of this underlined sentence, which of the options will follow, right? Which of the options is right or which of the options will follow the statement here? You guys have to tell, right? So see it properly and give the answer.
right so here while the nda government is commitment is there right commitment is noun right what should you get here you should get a verb right you should get a verb you should not get a noun so it is commitment is wrong it should be committed right it should be committed but there are three options three options here while the nda government is committed despite the nda government is committed as the nda government is committed so which one will be the right option here right which one will be the right option isn't it option b right isn't it option b right while the despite ka matlab kya hai so while while means something is going on and some people are doing the negative of it right while means something is going on right the india government is committed to bring back black money right it is while it is going on so this is the first sentence this is the second sentence despite despite his efforts the team lost right despite his efforts the team lost when something has already happened and because of which you get a result right when something has already happened and because of which you get a result despite his results despite his uh, miraculous knock despite his valiant efforts the team lost in the world cup right the team lost in the world cup matlab usne jitna bhi koshish kiya uske bawajood despite ka matlab hai bawajood uske bawajood team haar gayi while jab wo chal raha tha right while ka mean it is going on jab wo chal raha tha jab india government ne committed kar liya tha ki unko black money lana hai abroad se fir bhi kuch log bharat mein kya kar rahe the apne jo black money hai usko outside bhej rahe the right they were sending it abroad so while is the correct preposition here instead of despite and as okay instead of despite and as as means as it is going on we will be going on to the temple right so that is called as as it won't logically fit here okay as and despite won't logically fit here so it is option b while the india government is committed right committed is verb okay commitment is a noun right so option b now question 4 in your search results you will see a host of articles dash that in up to 70% or 80% of cases mergers dash value rather build it mergers dash value than build it okay what are these two fill in the blanks right fill up the blanks here okay fill up the blanks with the options given okay so here value is written right value is written so value ka matlab kya hai value can either increase or decrease right value can either increase or decrease mergers increase the value rather build it mergers decrease the value rather build it right they increase or decrease so augment will be the wrong verb to use here heal will also be the wrong verb to use here right so option c and d will be wrong here because value is given so it can be either enhance or dilute right it can be either enhance or dilute so value rather than building it so what is building mean right building ka matlab kya hai it is increasing right growing what does build mean growing right growth what is building mean it means growth so mergers are dash the value rather than growing it right mergers are enhancing the value rather than growing it it is the same thing only enhance ka matlab hai positive right positive growth dilute ka matlab hai negative growth hai na dilute ka matlab hai negative growth so which one will be the right option here it is option b right you will see a host of articles containing that in up to 70 to 80% of cases mergers dilute value rather than build it right they dilute the value they install a negative growth they decrease the value of the articles instead of growing it or instead of enhancing it so here it will be dilute and here it will be contending right contending contending matlab asserting right asserting an opinion 
अपना खुद का ओपिनियन रखना पासिंग ऑन अग्रीमेंट पासिंग ऑन एन ओपिनियन ओके पासिंग ऑन एन आर्ग्यूमेंट यू पासिंग ऑन एन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन द कंट्री यू विल पास एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉर दैट राइट सो यू आर कंटेंडिंग राइट यू आर असर्टिंग योर ओपिनियन दैट यू आर टेलिंग माई ओपिनियन इज द राइट थिंग ओके यू आर टेलिंग योर ओपिनियन इज द बेस्ट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कंटेंटिंग सो इट इज ऑप्शन बी कंटेंटिंग एंड डाइल्यूट राइट सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो फोर वर्ड्स आर गिवन फोर सेंटेंसेस आर गिवन You guys have to write these sentences in the right order. Okay, so option A have some influence on. Option B alter much of his natural bent. Option C no doubt education and surroundings. Option D the direction of a man's life, but they do not. Right. So write this in the normal order. Right. Write this in the particular order and tell me which is the option. A C A D B. Devashish is telling it as A. No doubt, education and surroundings, right, has some influence on the direction of a man's life, but they do not alter much of his natural bent, right? C A D B, right? Yes, it is true, Devashish. Okay, it is C A D B. So this is the first one, right? A is the second one. This is the third one, and this is the fourth one, right? Fourth one. No doubt, education and surroundings. Have some influence on alter, right? Have some influence on the direction of a man's life, but they do not alter much of his natural bent, right? They do not alter much of his natural bent. So it is C A D B, right? Which is option A, right? C A D B, which is option A. Chalo, the next question. Our problem is not that we ought to be less disgusted at what is happening in China. Dash, okay? Our problem is not that we ought to be less disgusted at what is happening in China. Dash. Option A, or what is happening in the rest of the communist world, or what is disgusting in our own country. So, in our own country, although there is disgust in the press, which is severely restricted and throttled, but that we ought to be more disgusted by what is happening in our own country. By what is happening in our own country. So, four options are there. Okay. So here they are not telling not to be disgusted with what is happening in China, right? So instead of that, something has to be happened. So choose which will be the right option here. Right, Devishish. Yes. So I told right. Instead of that, we should focus on something else, right? So our problem is not that we ought to be less disgusted at what is happening in China, but we ought to be more disgusted by what is happening in our own country, right? Use the right idiomatic expression. Not that it is, but that. So here, what that they have given? Not that is given, right? So you have to use the right idiomatic expression. If not that is used, you will be using but that, right? So our problem is not that China is disgusting. Instead of that, we should focus on what is disgusting in our own country, right? We should not focus on what is disgusting in China. Instead of that, right? But that we ought to be more disgusted by what is happening in our own country. So option D is the right answer, right? Let's move on to the next one, right? Taxing. So what does taxing mean? Tell me. I'm not asking the synonym here. I'm asking the proper meaning of taxing. So, what does taxing mean? Here are the four options. Tell me the right one. Taxing, right? Is it a verb or a noun? Right? According to that, go to the answer. I am giving you guys a hint also. गलती हो गया ना देवशेष गलती हो गया उधर हाँ 
I am told taxing. ing, right? Taxing. So an adjective meaning demanding. Okay. Levy is a synonym of tax, right? Levy is a synonym of tax. So taxing ka matlab hai demanding. Okay. It is taxing. So it should be either demanding or daring. Okay. That is the reason I gave you guys this hint. So it is given as taxing. So it cannot be levy or it cannot be charge. It should be demanding or daring. It can never be daring also. So it is option B, demanding. Levy ka matlab hai tax. Okay. Levy is a synonym of tax. Here taxing is asked and I am asking you guys the proper meaning of it, right? I am asking you guys the proper meaning of what is taxing. So taxing ka matlab hai demanding. Demanding money from the people is called as taxing. Okay. Demanding money from the people is called as taxing. Chalo, let's go to the next question. Fly of the handle. Choose the correct option which symbolizes the meaning of the idiom. So the idiom is fly of the handle. So there are four options. Quick person, multidirectional, bad tempered, independent decision. So out of these four options, which is the option which follows the idiom fly of the handle? Right? Fly of the handle. So just translate this idiom into Hindi. Right, you guys will get a answer, correct answer. Right, yes, Devashish, you are correct. Okay. Fly of the handle. Matlab, someone who is out of his limits, right? A bad temper. Someone who is aggressive, right? Negatively aggressive. So it is option C. Losing one's temper in a sudden manner. This idiom alludes to be the loser head of a hammer flying off after the blow, right? Agar hammer. So when you ping down the hammer, the hammer's ka jo main part right, it flies off, right? It flies off from the stick or it flies off. So that is called as flying off the handle. So something which is not under your control, right? When you are a bad angry person, right? You do not have anger in your control. You have a very bad anger. You shout at people. So that is called as fly off one's handle or fly off the handle, which means bad tempered, not under control. Right? Not under your control. When you can't control your anger, that is called as fly off the handle, right? So question 9, a verbal analogy, okay, a verbal analogy, yes, hot-headed person, that is also true, okay, verbal analogy, premise is to conclusion, okay, premise is to conclusion, then what of the four options, they relate to this verbal analogy, in these four options, which is the option which relate to the verbal analogy? Right? Okay, let me discuss the answer. Okay? Premise is to conclusion. So, what will be our answer here? Right? Premise, conclusion. Premise ka matlab kya hai? When you start a drama or when you start a stage drama, okay, the starting thing, okay, the starting thing is called as premise. Okay? The starting thing is called as premise. Conclusion is the end. Right? Conclusion is the climax. So, according to that, assumption inference, is it true? wrong okay which one will be the right answer it is option a itself right a is the conclusion drawn from premise similarly inference can be drawn from a uh, proportion right Inf inference can be drawn from an assumption hypothesis is also an assumption but a theory is usually drawn from proofs right theory is usually drawn from proofs so i did this just to confuse you all okay so Assumption is to inference, right? Assumption is to inference. So they both are opposite, right? 
premise, conclusion. So this is at the first, this is at the last. Assumption, inference. Assumption is different, inference is different, right? Inference ka matlab kya hai? So statement and conclusions, right? So similar to that. Assumption is something you assume. Inference is logical. Assumption might not be logical, okay? Inference is always logical. So you can also go for hypothesis is to theory, right? But for theory, the ulta or the opposite is proofs, right? For theory, the opposite is proofs. Knowledge and ideas, dono are related to each other. If you have a good knowledge, then only you can give good ideas, right? If you have a good knowledge, then only you can give an ideas. And brand and marketing are also similar with each other. A brand always deserves marketing. Agar ek brand hai, to usko hi hum market karenge, right? If there is a brand, then only we'll go for the marketing. If there is no brand, then why will we go for the marketing, right? So if you take Titan watches, right? Titan watches, it is a brand. And the brand requires marketing to sustain, right? The brand, it requires marketing to sustain. So D is the wrong answer here. It is A, okay? A or B may confusion hota hai, right? A and B, there will be a confusion. Assumption is to inference. Hypothesis is to theory. So if it was proofs is equal to theory, then B would have been the right answer, okay? But it is given as hypothesis is to theory. So it is wrong. So the correct one is assumption is to inference, right? Assumption is to inference. Option A. Option A. Okay. Conclusion is drawn from a premise. Similarly, an inference can be drawn from an assumption. Okay. Inference can be drawn from an assumption. Right. Question 10. Choose the right synonym. Right. Choose the right synonym. Luxuriant is the word. So what is the synonym of the word luxuriant? What is the synonym of the word luxuriant? Abundant, right? So Debashi is telling it as abundant. Yes, you're correct. Okay. Luxuriant is an adjective, right? Luxuriant is an adjective, which means something which is growing thickly and strongly, right? Something which is available a lot. Right? Something which is available a lot. So rich in something that is pleasant or beautiful or abundant. Abundant ka matlab kya hai? We have an abundant stock of mobiles, right? Bohat zara stock hai, hamare paas. So luxuriant means something which is growing thickly and strongly, right? Something which is not having low number of sales. Something which is high number of sales. So stock is always high. Stock is always high of that product. So that is called as abundant, okay? So that is similar to luxuriant, okay? Luxuriant means something which is growing thickly and strongly. So similar to that is abundant. Something which is always available, right? Something which is always available. Something which has high quantity. Something which has high quantity. So that is called as abundant. The what is the antonym? What is the opposite of abundant? It is scarce, right? Something which is readily available or always available is abundant. Something which is not readily available or rarely available is called as scarce, right? Scarce. So abundant, scarce, they both are antonyms. But the synonym of luxuriant is abundant. Okay? Yes. Ample amount. Right? Ample amount. Chalo, question number 11. In the following question, four words are given in each question, out of which one word is rightly spelt. Find the correctly spelt word. Okay? Either four words diya hai. Charo me se, ek word ka spelling sahi hai. Teen word ka spelling wrong hai. So you guys have to tell me, which word is having the right spelling? Okay. Which word is having the right spelling? Batao. Traveling remittance. Kidnapping equitable, right? Traveling, remittance, kidnapping equitable. 
Let's see the right option. It is option D. Yes, Devashish, you are correct. Okay. So what is traveling? Traveling is T R A V E L L I N G. Right. Ye traveling ka spelling hai. Remittance ka spelling kya hai? R E M I T T A N C E. This is remittance spelling. Kidnapping. K I D N A P P I N G. So this is kidnapping. Equitable. The spelling is same. Right. Equitable. The spelling is same. The spelling of traveling is either double L hona chahiye. They have given single L. Either double T hona chahiye. They have given single T. Either double P hona chahiye. They have given single P. So these three are wrong. Right. Equitable. The spelling is right. Okay. Equitable is having the correct spelling. The correctly spelled word is equitable. The correct spellings of the other word are traveling, remittance, and kidnapping. Right. Double L, double T, and double P. Okay. Chalo, let's move on to the next question. The manager was unhappy at Gaurav because he did not complete the work in time. Right. The manager was unhappy at Gaurav because he did not complete the work at time. So here are your four options. Option A is unhappy at, is to be unhappy at, was unhappy with, no correction required. Right. So tell me the right answer. Right. So Gaurav is a person. Right. The manager is angry dash a person. So what will be the correct preposition to be used here? Okay, what is the preposition to be used? Right? I am unhappy with Debashesh. Right? I am unhappy with Debashesh. Not I am unhappy at Debashesh. Me Debashesh ke. Right? I am. Mujhe Debashesh se bohut unhappy. Right? Unhappy. What is the Hindi word of unhappy? Mujhe Debashesh se bohut gussa hua hai. मुझे देवशेष से बहुत दुख हुआ है, बहुत दुख पहुंचा है। So it is not was unhappy at the manager was unhappy with Gaurav's performance, right? Team India, right, are not happy with Rishabh Pant, right? Team India are not happy with Rishabh Pant. Performance, है ना? ये highlights everyone has seen, right? Every one of you has seen these highlights, right? Headlines, जब भी sports column में आता है. Team India are not happy with Rishabh Pant's performance. Team India is not happy with Ravi Shastri's performance, right? Team India is not happy with the performance of Ravi Shastri. Team is Team India is unhappy with Ravi Shastri as he did not complete the work, right? It is not at Gaurav. It is with Gaurav, right? Was unhappy with Gaurav. With this, the preposition it has to be used, right? Option C. So the next question, okay? There are four different sentences here. So write them in the right order. Let me take my own case to illustrate what I have in mind. There is no contradiction in that, as I think we all know from ordinary experience. Goals and visions can appear to be in conflict, and often are. My personal visions are fairly traditional and I kiss ones. With origins in the Enlightenment and classical liberalism, right? So tell me the right order of words. Right? Okay. Debrish has given the option as A. Right? So he's telling it is 3, 2, 1, 4. Let's see. 
yes it is 3 to 1 4 right always a paragraph has to have a structure then the statement and then an illustration always a paragraph must have a stru structure statement and illustration so by that option A is right one so it is 3 right 2 1 4 right so structure right structure ka matlab kya hai? introduction goals and visions appear to be in conflict and often are so this is my introduction then give a statement about that right give a statement about that there is no contradiction in that as i think we all know from ordinary experience right there is no contradiction in that as i think we all know from ordinary experience right okay introduction baad mein statement statement ke baad kya hai right statement ke baad contradiction right contradiction or illustration example right contradiction illustration or example so what is the example here right what is the example here let me take my own case to illustrate what i have in mind right so this is my example hai na? i'm taking my own life as an example here to explain you guys i'm taking my own life as an example then my personal visions are fairly traditional anarchist ones with origins in the enlightenment and classical liberalism so introduction introduction ke baad statement statement ke baad example and explaining the example right introduction statement example and explaining the example so it is option a right three two one four right three two one four shall we move on to the next question shall we move on to the next question any doubts in this one Chalo, right the next one okay so read this paragraph i will give you guys a minute read this paragraph and upon this paragraph i will ask a question okay upon this paragraph i will ask a question so read this paragraph take a minute okay take a minute and read this paragraph thank you devishish take a minute and read this paragraph at exactly 10 41 i will start with the question okay <laughs> yes it's 10 41 right let's go with the question okay let's go with the question so the passage is about nelson mandela and his struggles right so what made him join the african national congress right what made him made him ka matlab hai nelson mandela right nelson mandela what made nelson mandela join the african national college right oh, sorry join the african national congress not college sorry African National Congress. Here are the four options. So tell me which option fits right for this. What was the reason that Nelson Mandela joined the African National College? Right? Sorry, Congress. Why am I repeating college so much? I'm missing my college, right? So African National Congress, right? What made him join the African National Congress? Right? You guys can I can show you guys the paragraph again, right? See the paragraph again and give me the answer. right so Devashish has given the option as a yes it is true option a when he came to realize that the black people were the victims of the white rulers he joined the african national congress right when he came to know that he began to hanker when he he realized that it was almost impossible for a black man in south africa to fulfill his obligation he began to hanker he earned for the basic and honorable freedoms of achieving his potential when Mandela realized that not only his freedom was curtailed but the freedom of everyone who looked like him was also curtailed that's when he joined the African National Congress and that is when the hunger for his own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of his people right 
so it is option a right the realization that he himself and the people like him were victims under the white ruler and were not able to live free he went he joined the african national congress right so chalo so change into active and passive voice right change of voices question okay the question is like this look at the poll results do they inspire look at the poll results do they inspire hope okay look at the poll results do they inspire hope so change the voice and give me the right answer Are you sure, Devashish? It is B. Right? The answer is D. Okay? It is not B. Okay? The structure is let plus subject plus auxiliary verb plus the past participle. Right? Auxiliary verb and the past participle. So, it is a let the poll results be looked at. Is hope inspired by them? Right? Is hope inspired by the poll results okay so you gave it as b has hope been inspired by them do they inspire hope right do they inspire hope so is should come right is has kaise hoga either okay it is present perfect so past perfect hoga right so what do we change in passive voice and active voice if it is a present sorry simple present to simple past hoga right so why will you use past perfect or present perfect here right it is in simple present use simple past is inspired right is hope inspired by them let the poll results be looked at is hope inspired by them right are we getting hope because of it are we inspired because of the poll results right so it is d right it is option d clear good okay so it is in simple present so convert it to simple past is inspired right inspired is given is inspired not has inspired okay just is inspired by them option d right so this is the arrangement let subject auxiliary past participle right let subject auxiliary past participle so question 16 right last five questions placid provide the right antonym right antonym ka matlab kya hai what does antonym mean antonym means opposite words right antonym means opposite words so provide the right opposite word of placid Placid ka antonym kaun sa hai? What is the opposite word of placid? Placid means something which is calm. Right? Placid is something which is calm. So which will be the right option here? Right? Yes, you are correct. Placid matlab calm. So calm, calm ka ulta kya hai? Right? Calm matlab hindi ka calm nahi. That is English calm. Okay? So calm mindset. MS Dhoni is a calm and cool captain. Right? So that calm we are talking here. Right? So calm, that is called as placid. So something which is not calm, something which is noisy. Right? Something which is noisy. Something which produces more noise. Right? So that is called as stormy. Right? So it is option B. Right? Placid means calm and peaceful with little movement or activity while stormy means characterized by violent emotions or behavior. Placid is something which is not noisy. Right? Which is not at all noisy. Which is peaceful, calm, quiet. Okay? So stormy, it is not at all quiet. It is always noisy. It has violent emotions or behavior. Hot-headed persons. They are always called as stormy persons. Right? Because of them 
having violent emotions and behavior right question 17 so here are again six sentences so order these sentences right order these sentences and give me the right option okay one and six they are ordered correctly one and six are ordered correctly pqrs you should order them properly right pqrs you should order them properly you did not know the meaning of placid Yes, you can guess the answer, okay? How to guess the answer, I will tell you, okay? So, let us finish this question and then I will tell you, okay? If you don't know any word, just imagine, imagine a statement out of it, okay? So, placid is the word, right? Placid is the word. So, let us imagine a statement out of it, right? So, Debashish is a placid person, right? Devashish is a placid person. So, obviously, it means behavior, right? Obviously, it means behavior. So, go back, right? Go back. Behavior. So, urgent, is it a behavior? Wrong. Moving, is it a behavior? Wrong. Dull and stormy yoga, right? Dull and stormy. Both of them are negative, right? Dull is negative. Stormy is negative. So, what is the opposite of dull, right? Something which is bright, right? Something which is bright. Placid does not mean bright, right? Placid does not mean bright. So, it is stormy. Option B. Always imagine a sentence, right? Okay? Always imagine a sentence out of it, right? Imagine a sentence. So, if you get some other word, right? Differing, right? He is differing from my opinion, right? Imagine a sentence out of it you will get the right answer. Okay. So, solve this question. Question 17. Last three questions left. Right? Is it tough, Devishish? Right? Let us see the right option. It is option C. Okay? It is RSQP. Right? It is RSQP. So, 1, R is 2, S is 3, Q is 4, P is 5, and this is 6. Okay? So, most of the diamonds found on Earth were formed below the Earth's crust in the upper mantle. Right? Where the pressure and temperature are high enough to allow diamonds to crystallize, right? Diamonds to crystallize. So, it is 3, 2, 4, 5, right? So, it is RSQP. RSQP, option C, right? Option C, RSQP. Most of the diamonds found, right? So, obviously, it is R is the first one, right? On earth, where found below. Most of the diamonds found on earth. So, you require a preposition, right? in, on, and at. So, these three prepositions should be there. So, go for it. So, it is R. So, obviously, it won't be this and this, right? So, R S Q P R P S Q is there. On earth, where formed below, R high enough. That will be wrong, right? R high enough, right? Form below the earth's crust. First thing, you have to specify where, where the diamonds formed, okay? Where is the diamonds found? If it is found in earth, then where in earth? Then you should go for the explanation, right? If I am present outside, then where am I present outside? I am present inside a restaurant, right? So, you can't tell I am outside. You should also tell where outside, right? Where in outside. So, it is Earth's crest in the upper mantle. RS is correct. So, it is option 3, right? RS is correct in the option 3. Chalo, the next question. To seize control of a vehicle in order to force it to go to a new destination or demand something, what is this called as? What is the meaning of this sentence, right? What is this sentence called as? What is this sentence called as? Attack, contract, hijack, detour, right? What is this sentence called as? Ye pura ek word ka meaning hai. 
This whole sentence is the meaning of a word. So what is that word? Right? To seize control of a vehicle. Right? Movies dekhte ho? Hijack. Right? What is hijack? So a plane is going. They call it right plane hijack. Train hijack. Okay? The, the vehicle is going. Okay? Terrorists suddenly enter the vehicle and they take the control of the vehicle and they tell him to go to a new destination. Right? They take control of the vehicle and they inform to go into a new destination. So it is hijack. Attack is when two sides are involved. Contract is when two sides are involved. Detour is also when two sides are involved. Hijack when only one side is involved, right? The terrorists, they enter into the plane and they hijack it. They take control of it and they can decide their new destination also, right? They can decide a new destination also. So it is option C. Attack, an act of violence to try to hurt or kill somebody. Contract, an official written agreement. Hijack, to use violent or threats to con take control of a vehicle in order to force it to travel to a different place or to demand something from the government. Detour, to take some things from the government, right? Detour, to take some things from the government, right? Question 19, last two questions, okay? The old man said that he would be soon leaving the world. So this is an indirect speech, okay? This is an indirect speech. So tell me the answer of it in direct speech, right? Tell me the answer of it in direct speech. He would be soon leaving the world, right? The old man said that he would soon be leaving the world, right? So it is in which tense, right? It is in which tense, okay? Indirect speech is in which tense? So how will it be converted to? Right? It is in which sense? Right? He would soon be leaving the world. Right? So this is future, right? Continuous, right? Future continuous or future perfect continuous? Tell me. Is it future continuous or future perfect continuous? So how will it be changed? Would soon be. Is ka ulta kya hoga? Right? It's ka ulta kya hoga? What will be the ulta of would soon be? Right? Yes, it is option B. It is option B. Yes, you are correct. I shall soon be leaving the world, right? So, shall changes to would, right? Can changes to will. Okay, this is what happens in the indirect speech. We have discussed this in our plus course, right? In our English verbal ability plus course, we have discussed what are the different changes in tenses happen when they are changed into direct and indirect speech, right? He would soon be leaving the world. So, it is future perfect continuous tense, right? So you should get what? You should get shall in the sentence, right? You should get shall in the sentence. Shall changes to would always. So go by the options. I am going, this is normal. Future perfect ho jayega. I would soon be, it won't be the change. Would and would. I am soon leaving the world. This is also again simple. So I shall soon be leaving the world, right? I shall. Would is changed to shall. So it is option B. Right? Option B. So the last question. In this question, four words are given out of only one is misspelled. Find the misspelled word. So four question, four options are given and one of them is having a wrong spelling. Right? One of the words is having a wrong spelling. So which is the word which is having a wrong spelling? So we did a question on right spelling. Right? We found out a right spelling question. Now we are wrong spelling question. So the last question of the class. Tell me the wrong spelling of the questions given here. Idiosyncrasy, idealize, idiocy, ideology.
right yes it is option c you are right so idiosyncrasy spelling sahi hai idealize bhi spelling sahi hai idiosy the spelling will be i d o i c y right राइट इडियोसी द स्पेलिंग विल बी आई डी आई ओ सी वाई है ना इडियोसी का स्पेलिंग है आई डी आई ओ सी वाई यस यू आर करेक्ट द विशेष इट इज आई डी आई ओ सी वाई आइडियोलॉजी ऑल्सो द स्पेलिंग इज सेम सो दिस इज करेक्ट स्पेलिंग करेक्ट स्पेलिंग रॉन्ग स्पेलिंग एंड करेक्ट स्पेलिंग दे आर आस्क व्हिच वन इज मिस स्पेल्ड राइट दे आर आस्किंग व्हिच वन इज मिस स्पेल्ड सो ऑप्शन सी इडियोसी इज मिस स्पेल्ड राइट द मिस स्पेल्ड वर्ड इज इडियोसी द करेक्ट स्पेलिंग इज इडियोसी राइट सो आई डी ओ I D I O C Y I D I O C Y. So that's it with the class, guys. So today is Wednesday. On Friday, you guys will be having the general English part two at the same timings, 10 a.m. Right? General English part two at the same timings, 10 a.m. If anyone wants to buy the Gate or ESC subscription, you can go for these five plans. So the first plan you'll get just 10 percentage off by using my referral code. For the next four plans, you guys will be getting around fifteen to twenty percentage off by using my referral code and also by using your credits. If you have more than five hundred to thousand five hundred credits, it will be very much useful for you as you guys will get fifteen to twenty percentage off, right? So I had around thousand credits and I got around two thousand two fifty rupees off for the three month plan, right? Twelve thousand five hundred month, twelve thousand five hundred rupees plan. I got around two thousand two fifty rupees. So, if you guys are going for the subscription, you can go for the A4Z plans, and these are the eminent features of the An Academy Plus subscription, right? So that's it with the class. So as I said, Friday you guys will be having a YouTube session on General English Part Two, but tomorrow, which is the Thursday, tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yes, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow. In the night at 10 p.m., you guys will be having General English Part One in the An Academy platform, right? In the An Academy platform. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for listening throughout the session. I will see you all in the next session. I will wait for a period of one minute so that you guys, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. If there are no doubts, I will end the class. Okay? I will wait for a period of one minute. Thank you, Devishesh. ओके अभी जाए गो टू द चैनल ओके सो द चैनल इज देर राइट अन अकेडमी लाइव गेट इन दैट सुरेश वी एस आर सर ओके ही हैज डन ए वीडियो फॉर यू गाइज ओके दिस द नेम ऑफ द एजुकेटर सुरेश वी एस आर ही हैज डन ए वीडियो फॉर यू गाइज ओके सो यू सी दैट ही हैज लिस्टेड फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टू थ्री थाउजेंड रैंक वॉट आर द चांसेस वॉट एंड ऑल यू गाइज कैन डू दैट इज ही हैज क्लियरली मैं अबाउट इट He is an ex medici faculty, right? Suresh V S R sir. So, apna isme video jao, okay? So he has given after math, okay? Gate counselling. The name of the video is gate counselling. So it was done just uh, one week before when your gate results were announced, right? Friday, this video was previewed, okay? So just go to the channel and find this video by Suresh V S R sir. Gate counselling. He has told it clearly, right? What different rank people could do, right? 2000 to 3000 rank, 3000 to 3500. All these has been creatively and efficiently explained by him. So just see the video, okay? Right? I hope so. There are no more doubts. It was nice interacting with you all. I will see you all in the next session. Till then, have a good day.